So what is phenol and how does its reactivity change with the presence of this little OH group? So today we are looking at phenol. Now phenol has only one real structural difference from that of benzene. The difference we've got is instead of one of these CH bonds, we've actually got a COH. Now the oxygen here is what changes the reactivity of the benzene ring. Now we know the benzene ring is going to get attacked by electrophiles. We know that it's going to attract electrophiles. And so phenol must be changing that attraction that it has, and it is but we need to make sure we can explain why. Now, the lone pair here from the oxygen gets donated into the delocalized pi bond. So that's two more electrons going into this same space. What that means is that the overall electron density of the delocalized pi bond increases. And that means that the benzene ring is more susceptible to attack by electrophiles. Or you can say it attracts electrophiles more strongly or you could say that it polarizes electrophiles more. Either set of wording is okay, but you need to make sure that you're saying that the electron pair from the oxygen is donated into the delocalized pi bond, and what that causes for is an increase in electron density, which then makes it more reactive, which means that it's going to be more susceptible to attack by electrophiles. Now, as a result of all of this, we can say that the OH group comes under the classification of an electron donating group. Another group you need to be aware is exactly like this in this respect is an NH2 group, which is an amine group. Now, the amine group, the nitrogen there, just like we focused on the oxygen of the OH group, the nitrogen has got that lone pair and it's going to donate that to the delocalized pi bond, increasing that electron density and making the benzene ring more susceptible to attack by electrophiles. So, what about the opposite of that? What about the opposite of an electron donating group? Well, that would be an electron withdrawing group. So if I take the OH off, what could I put onto the molecule that has the exact opposite effect? It's going to reduce the electron density and cause for the benzene ring to be harder or less reactive, harder to react. Therefore, and let's make sure our exam wording is really good here, we need to be saying not just that it's less reactive, we need to say that it's got that lower electron density, and therefore it's less susceptible to attack by electrophiles or polarizes electrophiles less or attracts electrophiles less. What can I put on there that will have that effect? The answer is an NO2. So if I put the NO2 group onto there, what that's gonna do is pull electron density out of the benzene ring and make that benzene ring less reactive. Don't forget, you can't just say less reactive though in the exam. You've got to mention that electron density and the electrophile in your explanation of that as well. I hope that clears up uh, how the reactivity of phenol is different from that of benzene, but also how it's an electron donating group and how that contrasts to an electron withdrawing group. I'll leave you to the rest of our playlist. Happy revising.